Everybody. Welcome to another harrowing adventure where we risk life and limb to find buried treasure. And, uh, today we are going to go hunting at a, a muster field. Uh, you've seen this place uh, once or twice before on this channel. Uh, the best I can figure was that uh, this was a muster field uh, between the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. That's the transplanted uh, northerner uh, living in South Carolina speaking. Uh, down here, I guess they prefer war of northern aggression. <laughs> but um, soldiers used to train in this field. Now, this is just a small portion of what is left that they used to train in. The rest of it has been kind of developed and, and uh, buildings set there, and different properties and such. But uh, we're going to have a small lo uh, location. Uh, where they did training. The cool thing about this place is it's right across the street from where a tavern once sat. And the soldiers would go to that tavern and wait for everybody to show up. Meanwhile, they're getting drunk. So they go out to the muster field and, and go through the routines. You know, a little goofy. Kind of drunk and dropping stuff, hopefully. I hope you find some pretty cool stuff out here. So, we'll see how this goes. Here we go. How you like my little buddy here? Isn't that about as cute as I get? Look at that little face. <laughs> got this little guy a little jealous. Whoa. This is our group for the day. We got Tracy. We got Bill. We got Gene. And we got this field that has obviously been mowed recently. So we'll see what we can pull out of here. Let's get it going. I believe Gene has got the first uh, good find. Got a gooder. He sure does, don't he? Got himself a flat button. It's got the shank on it. That looks like it's going to be an 1800s. Let's uh, see if we can get this cleaned up. Yeah, I cleaned up really nice. Nothing on the front, but it's got that nice shank on, and it says Standard Imperial from the best I can make out in the back. Pretty button, buddy. Nice. I think I found a gooder. Um, I think I have a identified. It's just kind of odd, so uh, check it out and see what you think. Is that a part of a buckle? It looks like it's probably most of a buckle. It would have been a long one. It's iron. Looks like it would have been a pretty old one. See, I think that's kind of cool. Huh. Now, if it's not a buckle, and you know what it is, just let me know. But for right now, I'm going to call it a buckle. I was just swinging along, minding my own business. I hear, hey! How you doing? This is Scott Wilson. He, uh, he's, uh, bit, he's hunted with us a time or two, not too often, but uh, he's uh, native to this area. So he's going to join us for a little bit. 
Uh, he might be the one to find some cool stuff. We'll just see. <laughs> Hoping. Hoping. So get your stuff, man. Let's see what All we can right. find. We're going to do that. All right. Gene did it again. He did it in a pretty big way here. Yeah, that is a Barber Dime 1900. No mint mark. Wow. That is very cool. That's, that's a big congratulations to you. I have not found a Barber Dime at all. So. That's amazing, man. I, I love it. 1900. Very nice. All right, you say you got a gooder. Oh, look at that. Old buckle. Man, that's seen better days, hasn't it? Nope. Awesome, man. That was right up along that. Mine right there. That's very cool. I Thank like you. that. Hey Scott. How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. You're doing good too, aren't you? <laughs> so far. <laughs> Scott found something really cool. Cool. I don't know. It does look like it fastened on to uh, some leather. I don't know what it would have come off of. But I do definitely think this is a period piece. It doesn't really look like anything was on there. Let me flip it over and you see that. I don't know. I think that's the coolest little thing though. I like it quite Thank a bit. You. Thank you. Nice. There's more to come. I hope so. <laughs> I got this tiny little bee. I think it's a little cold out here and he ain't feeling too good because of that. He's looking for a nice warm place. It's not late in the afternoon, guys. That sky really is that dark. So, um, I don't know how long we're going to be out here. I don't even know if this is going to hit us. So, I hope it doesn't. Uh, we still have stuff to find out here. But, 20% uh, chance of rain today. Hope that skirts around us. I'm standing here with Scott. Scott uh, said he's going to have to take off here, so uh, we're going to have to say goodbye to him. He, he found that really cool little shield shaped thing, I think went on leather or something, so that was cool. Uh, so he's walking away with something. But, uh, <laughs> good to see you again, Scott. Yeah, good to see you I have to do it again. Yes, sir. Many times. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. Yeah, we'll do it. I just found 1963 Memorial. Couldn't help but think that if that was a dime, you know, or a quarter, it would have been silver. Oh, well. And you go, you could have been. Back with Gene again. They found something on this. There's something right, right on there, isn't there? All right, it actually says field day on it. Uh, we're not too far from school, and this is probably one of the one of the ribbons that uh, they handed out. And we're actually out here in the field having a day of it. <laughs> there you go. And it's raining now. It is raining. That's not cool. Now that is the last thing that I'm going to find today, I believe. And I think that's some of the wiring from uh, when these old telephone poles had the old glass insulators and all that on. I think that's the kind of wiring they use for that. So, it's a relic. It ain't a great one. <laughs> I guess that's going to be our hunt, guys. Hi! That's our hunt, guys. Uh, kind of got rained out. 
plus uh, we weren't having too much luck. Except for Gene. Except for Gene. Yeah, Gene. And, and Scott found something kind of cool. I, I kind of kind of uh, covered it, but uh, you know, he did a good job with that. All right, let's uh, do a roundup or a wrap up. We haven't done one of those for a while. Let's start with uh, Bill. And frankly, <laughs> this is going to be like uh, most of our stuff. He's got a bunch of Oh, pocket change. Yeah, there it is. That is not silver. All right, well, he got a bunch of pocket change. And we have my stuff. It's pretty much the same. I found uh, some kind of old grommet or something. A quarter, a couple pennies, a nickel. And uh, that buckle thing that broke. So... Yeah, how you doing, buddy? Want to do yours next? Sure. Okay. We got Tracy, and they call him the Scrap Iron King for a very good reason. There it is. Yeah, we do need to change his name, don't we? Got himself a big old plow there. He got that buckle. That was cool. He's got himself a couple nickels, a couple pennies. Or is that one a dime? That's a dime. That's a dime. And he got that thing. I think it's a... Uh, a toenail from a bucket on a uh, back lift or backhoe or something. Rock tooth. Rock tooth, yeah. I couldn't think of what they're called. <laughs> then we got Gene, Mr. Know It All Gene. <laughs> this man right here, th this is uh, his show today. So, As usual. Yes, yeah. He got that, uh, that metal, got all this change, and then he got this couple of beauties right there. 1900 Barber Dime. No mint mark, that's a Philly, and he got that flat button. Unbelievable, that's amazing. So, um, it's yours today, Gene. Gene, that's, that's, you, you pulled it out of the hat today. That is some good stuff, buddy. Add to that. Yeah, well, it's hard to get a raise out of him, anyway. <laughs> he, made a, he made the hunt worthwhile. We all had fun. Well, there you go, guys. That was our hunt, and we got rained out, but we had fun, right? Rained out, rained out. Yeah, how you doing, Gene? Gene's uh, going back with us today, so, of course, you know, we, he's got to be chauffeur because he found all the good stuff, you know. <laughs> he did a good job today. We had fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, we'll catch you later. And thanks for watching. Bye. Well, Gene did that with all, all that with his uh, AT Gold. He had a Garrett product. He outhunted all of us with our uh, equinoxes. Kind of makes me wonder. Maybe we all go back to Garrett products and find some stuff again. <laughs> Take out my Garrett 350. Yeah.